What's up, NBA fans? What's up, all sports fans? This is JB right here, host of the Behind the Bench podcast network and channel. Just want to give a shout out to the rest of the crew, Shad, Kelvin, and Jermaine. And for everyone that's tuning in, I hope that you continue supporting the Behind the Bench network and become a subscriber and help make this show the best that it can possibly be. Now, check this out. I got this question to ask right here, man. I keep asking myself, now this is in regards to Dame Dollar, Damian Lillard. And I'm sitting there and I'm listening to all these sports pundits suggesting that Damian Lillard leaves Portland. He has to go. He's at the end of the road there. He needs to go to this place, go to this place, go to this team, go to that team. And I'm sitting there like, now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Portland is at a crossroads. They are at a crossroads. No doubt about that. And they are in transition. They have brought in young players such as Anthony Simons and the like. They made a key move last year, bringing in Jeremy Grant. We're trading for Jeremy Grant last year from the Detroit Pistons. I get all that. And they've been trying to build a title contending team around Damian Lillard for the past, let's say, five to six years. Or even possibly beyond that. Where they did peak in 2019 where Dame Dollar and C.J. McCollum and Yosef Nurkic and the like, they did advance to the Western Conference Finals versus uh, Golden State. I get all that. But if he's saying that he wants to remain loyal to the franchise and to the city of Portland, it's like loyalty is being criticized. Now, like I said, Dane Dollar has been in the league, I believe, since 2011. And for the most part, he's been a star player, superstar in a lot of respects. He's hit, he's hit some big game uh, shots in the playoffs particularly in the first round versus uh, Houston. I believe that was in 2014 or 2015. Now, that may have been 2016. My bad, 2016. And then he had another big shot uh, versus OKC over Paul George a couple years later. I get, I get what they are trying to imply, but there's a spin and an angle as to why they want Damian Dollar to leave. And I don't necessarily think it's because they feel that he can't win in Portland as much as it is they want these top stars to join forces and to continue this super team era. And they know who Dame Dollar is. They know he's a big-time player, big shot maker. You know, he can he can hit a three from mid-court. He can erupt for 40 point games, 45 point games. I get that. I get that. But it's almost like they would prefer that every single superstar pairs up rather than having a superstar of this era remain loyal to their franchise who drafted them and have played their entire careers for. That's the impression that I'm getting. Like I said, I could be wrong, you know what I'm saying? But. I mean, really, it's up to Dane Dollar. I mean, he has the cards. I mean, um, you know, he's been in the league long enough where he can, you know, dictate where he wants to go if he wants to be traded. You know, but I will say this. I believe Portland has done what they can over the years to try to build a team around him where uh, he can uh, compete for a uh, championship. So it's a lot of factors in play. And when it comes down to everybody's not going to win a championship, 
It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So why try to force the issue where you may make a choice that, that you, you will second guess immediately after you make it? So if he sees himself playing his entire career for one franchise, like a Steph Curry um, has done, uh, like plenty of superstars have done, the Kobe Bryant's, the Tim Duncan's, the Dirk Nowitzki's, the uh, for the most part, you could say Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? Um, the Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, the Isaiah Thomases. I mean, we can go on and on and on. But at the end of the day, if he wants to remain loyal and plays an entire career for the Portland Trail Blazers, I say more power to him because maybe he's thinking beyond his playing career to where maybe he he could become a general manager of the Portland Trail Blazers or team president or or something greater than that. Who knows? You know, but like I said, at the end of the day, I think they need to stop trying to force this man to uh, leave his team because that's his team. That's his franchise. That's the only team he's played for. And if he's loyal to that degree, then you can understand why it would be difficult for him to approach the front office and say, I want to be traded. But we're so used to to this player empowerment, watching these players go from team to team, hop from organization to organization, and all this jazz that's been going on. But if he wants to play his entire career, and they, he's getting paid top dollar to do so, that's another factor that plays in all of this. You know, when you're making a, a super max uh, contract, well, it's hard to trade that type of player. Because for all intents and purposes, if a team is offering – a veteran player such as Damian Lillard, a Supermax extension, well, they're doing it with the purpose of their player finishing out his career with their team. That's just how I see it. So it's like this tug of war between player empowerment versus loyalty versus a team looking out for its interests. You know, it can't be all about the player. It can't be all about ownership. It has to be a balance. And when there's a balance, you tend to make the best decision, the most sound decision to where the player don't set himself back and the team don't wind up setting themselves back longer than what they need to. So I just want to throw it out there, man. Like I said, I guess time will tell, but you can clearly see they want uh, Damian Lillard to lead Portland. But if he wants to remain loyal to the franchise and play his remaining career with uh, Portland, hey, I say kudos. At the end of the day. Because you never know. Uh, an opportunity may arise down the line where you don't expect where he gets that star player to play with him in Portland. You just never know how things play out. But if you try to force the issue, you may lose more than you win towards the end. So, like I said, man, time to tell. This uh, free agency period kicks off uh in, in, in a couple of days, right, right around the corner. But uh, Dane Dollar, man, it's really up to him at the end of the day. If he wants to remain with Portland, he, he can go down as one or one of the top three players that ever played for the franchise. When you're talking about he, Clyde Drexler, and Bill Walton, and, you know, I, I say that's major in my book, you know. But, again, this is JB for Behind the Bench. Until next time, I will holler later.